Well, this video is going to be interesting. As you know, on the third Saturday of September, there's a national holiday where people celebrate Batman. I mean, it's a celebration. And funny enough, I don't think I've ever done a Batman related video on the channel. So, what video am I going to do on National Batman Day? Well, I decided to do a review on Batman from 1989. Yeah, not The Dark Knight or The Batman that came out back in March. No, I'm picking a movie in honor of the celebration. So, here's my review of Batman 1989. The story of Batman is pretty simple. It takes place in Gotham City, billionaire industrialist Bruce Wayne, who is secretly Batman, begins his war on crime with his first major enemy, the one who murdered his parents when he was a child. He comes across the enemy, Jack Napier, a criminal that fell into the vat of ascetic chemicals and becomes the Joker. He grabs a photojournalist lady named Vicky Vale. With Vicky rescued, now Batman has to battle the Joker and defend Gotham City. So now with the story out of the way, let's talk about the characters. I'll go with Bruce Wayne first. Bruce Wayne is played by Michael Keaton, which when that was announced back then, people freaked out thinking Keaton would not work playing the role. Well, people got it wrong because Keaton does a great job playing Bruce Wayne and Batman. Bruce Wayne is sly and unassuming. When he turns into Batman, he goes into serious mode and bad to the bone. But as Bruce, he's just so charming and likable. Also, out of the versions of Batman, he's my favorite out of the Batman along with the animated series. I'll talk about why I love Batman in a future video. Next up is Joker, played by Jack Nicholson. And yeah, he is a stealer in the movie. Joker is more creepy than scary, which makes Heath Ledger a great upgrade as the Joker later on. It looks like Joker is having a blast in the movie. Now to Vicky Vale. She's played by Kim Basinger, and she's an interesting character. I will admit, she screams too much in the movie, but she's still interesting no matter what. She's not annoying. She feels like a real person. As for other characters, there's Commissioner Gordon, who's a police at Gotham, Alexander Knox, who works as a reporter with Vicky, Harvey Dent, played by Billy D. Williams, where he's in the movie, but the movie doesn't pull off where he turns into Two-Face in later movies. There's Bruce's butler, Alfred, where he's loyal, and Joker's side, Bob. Yeah, he was cool when he was with Joker. That's all I had to say about the side characters. Now let's get to the main part about the movie, and that is its visual storytelling. While director Christopher Nolan focused on vocal storytelling in The Dark Knight, Director Tim Burton knew what he had to do on this movie. Tim Burton is fantastic on making visuals in movies like Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and so forth. The art direction is fantastic. In fact, it won an Oscar for that category, and it shows. It reminds me of Metropolis, in a way. The special effects are pretty good at the time when it came out, but sometimes some of them are laughably bad. The action is good, but not great. That's the only thing that doesn't hold up, and it makes The Dark Knight a lot better action scenes. The musical score is incredible. Danny Elfman made the score perfectly. In fact, it's my favorite out of any of his movie scores. On top of that, I just love the dark aspect. Some critics find it too dark, but come on, this is when comic book movies was taken on a whole new level. Superman movies came out before this one, and they were light toned. Now to the part where I mention is that it's my favorite out of the Batman movies. While The Dark Knight is pretty close in terms of a new experience, Batman 89 is where they got everything right. Plus the movie is in my top 5 favorite movies. That's how much I love it ever since I watched it back 8 years ago. So yeah, it was a great choice to pick Tim Burton's Batman movie for a review and for National Batman Day. Hope you liked this video, and soon in the future I will do more Batman videos, and this is the start of that. I will see you guys for the next movie review.